Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Soulstime at level 1, or Let's Play Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC at level 1, whichever you prefer to call it. In the last video, we completed the quest The March of the Dead, which was basically killing General Folks Carius, which actually wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, but that's because I um went in there super OP with basically, ev well not basically, with every stone power that you can acquire on Soulstime, so that made it a lot easier. I basically like one shot him. He didn't really stand a chance. Will I survive this if I jump off? We. Okay, yes, you can jump off the bulwark. Okay, if this was real life, I'm totally like full sending it. Nah, I don't know. This is like what? 12 feet of water? Mm, I don't know. Um, in this video. Hold on. Ooh, sorry, I had the sneeze there, guys. Like I was saying, in this video, what are we going to do? Um, I guess we're going to do the path to knowledge, because that's what's available for us to do. And I've decided that in this, I am not going to be doing everything there is to do on Soul's Time. I am just completing the challenge of completing Dragon War DLC at level 1. Well, I guess I'm not level 1 anymore, but I started at level 1. So I'm going to just be, like, dedicated to killing Mirak, and then after that, it is over. And somebody suggested the potential of, like, starting Dawn Guard at level 1. So maybe that'll be the next at level 1 thing. Who knows? Okay, hello, Neloth. I recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. I hear you know where to find black books. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Yes, indeed. What could you know of them? I mean, I found a black book and I need to find more. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful usually turns out to be the most useful in my experience. I have to know what Mirak knows if I want to stop him. Mirak? The one all the town folk are always chanting about? Yes, you may have noticed he's trying to return the soul slime. Well, I knew something connected with Hermaeus Mora was spreading its influence across the island. I wasn't sure that it was in fact the same entity as this legendary namesake of the central temple, although the villagers seem quite convinced. Do you know where I can find another black book? Oh yes, they're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. You have a black book? Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstein. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. Why won't the book you have here help me? Oh, it is clearly not associated with the same power that has overtaken the island. And I'm not talking about Hermaeus Mora. These black books are all his, of course. No. What you're looking for is a specific book, presumably because Mirak's power derives from it. So you know where to find this black book, the one connected with Mirak? Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. The Dwemer? What do they have to do with this? Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the Dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It True. seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me. Okay, then. To Nachardak. Ooh, voice got a little cracky there. Huh. That's embarrassing. Oh, well. Who really cares? Not me, not you. Well, you might. Oh, I forgot to say, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
or comment, whatever you feel like doing. All helps the channel grow. So now we are to travel to Nachardak, but I guess before I do that I should um regain all my stone capabilities. So I'll actually see you when I finish doing that, and then I'll walk to Nachardak. Okay, so I have regained all of my stone capabilities, and now it's time to walk to Nachardak. So basically for any big battle we know we're going to experience, or any situation where we may experience a big battle, I would say it is quite crucial that we have these abilities. Just because they're honestly like the only reason I would ever really be able to defeat any of these tough enemies at this low of a level. I mean, Solstheim is built for characters who are like level 30 or higher. But we will be okay. Neloth, are you here? Have you like wiped out all the bandits already? Hello? Neloth? Where are you? Um, you're supposed to be here helping me, but I guess not. Ooh, can't hit me. Ooh. I would also like to say while we're in this moment, my Twitch and Twitter are both linked in the description now. Give me a follow on both. On Twitter, you will see me basically just posting when I'm going live on Twitch, and that's about all I'd use it for as of right now. So honestly, it's not that important if you don't want to watch the Twitch streams, but it still would be cool, and I really appreciate anybody who does watch Twitch streams. This video will be going up on a Saturday, probably, so as of this Saturday, the next stream will probably be on a, um, on Sunday, but it's probably gonna be earlier in the day. Can I please use Unrelent? Nope, okay, thanks. Okay, I'm about to die. Yes, it will be going, I will be streaming on Sunday, but like I said, probably earlier in the day, maybe even like 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe noon. Um, well, if that's not my best, my best would have definitely been able to take care of you anyways, so... I don't know what you're giving me hell about. Is old Neloth ever gonna show up? Is he just, like, already in the place? He just, you know, never... Ooh. He never killed any of the bandits, he just decided to walk on down by himself. Okay, this Reaver Lord is just as powerful as a Reaver, um, Highwayman. Okay, where is this guy? Do I have a skill? Like, I feel like... No, I don't. Okay, so Neloth isn't here, and I need him to unlock this door. So I guess I'm just gonna wait and see if he shows up. So I'll see you guys when I see Neloth. Okay, there he is. I just had to wait a couple hours. These towers have outlasted their creators for a millennia. The book towers inside that dome. I'll need to unlock the door, Boris. Let's get on with it. Don't tell me to get on with it when you're the one that has to do it. These control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. I sealed the door when I left to keep out ignorant millennials. Let me unlock it. The book is just so you're saying if you didn't find one of those puzzle cubes, this whole thing would be inevitable? I mean, we wouldn't be able to stop Mirak if you just didn't find a cube. 
Okay, there is the black book hidden, well not hidden, sealed away underneath this glass thing. So tantalizing you close. But trust me, no magic will open that. I'd have had the book already hidden. Okay, so you're telling me all that's stopping me from pressing that button is that little thing like I can just stick a lock pick in there and press the button. Okay. So, Nichardek, obviously. Dwemer Ruin. Dwemer Ruins, obviously, not really built for characters who are level 11, so... This should be a very interesting undertaking. Probably won't complete it in just this video, it'll be continued into the next one. Just saying. Okay, Neloth, you don't have any... Wonderful dialogue to intrigue us with. Oh, chest. Ooh, expert level chest. See you when I unlock it. There we go. It only took me two tries. Which is quite impressive. But, of course, I am the best Skyrim player ever. So, I guess it's expected of me to be that good at lockpicking. City of a hundred towers. In its day, it was the largest of the great Dwemer archives, and perhaps the most advanced. In the old stories, when the Nords came to conquer it, it said the Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering. Now reduced to this. Okay, one issue. If they sunk the city, where did they go? They're shot down, but they still respond to the control cubes. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. Then I should be able to open the book's protective case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. Okay, so basically we just have to find as many cubes as possible, then? Right? Yes. Here we are. This device shows the location of four more cubes in this section of the city. It looks like most of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was abandoned. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. How do you get all that from just looking at this? Servitors continue to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. It's very interesting. Three of the cubes are through here. This seems like a sensible place to start. Yes, I would agree, Neloth. Oh, there's one right there. That's easy. And it also shuts off that fire. So next, I will I guess I should follow Neloth. Um, yeah, I am. Luckily, we do have Neloth on our side, and he is a super powerful wizard, so he should take some of the pressure off of us. Don't be so negative, Neloth. Negative now off. It's like negative Nelly. These must be Ooh. great workshops of Nichardak. Impressive. Even in ruins. <laughs> okay. Glory, it was reputed to be able to assemble a complete automaton in a single day. Much of the Dwemer's army at the Battle of Red Mountain must have come from here. Oh, nowhere to go. I guess it probably wasn't the best idea to just attack that Dwarven Centurion right away. But I wanted to make sure he wouldn't kill me, I guess. 
looks like we'll need to lower the water level to make any more progress. Imagine if all of these guys were actually hostile. Ah, oh, good. Now we can see if we can find a way to get that next view. Huh? huh? Ooh, Dwemer Spheres. Or Dwarven Spheres. Oh, sweet. We got to level up. That's good. Let's use that right now. Um, what should I put in it? I'm going to put one point in the stamina, actually. Okay. We already have that. I'm going to get... Ooh, hold on. I just need to make sure first that I can't get more damage. No, I can't. Okay. What about heavy armor? Eh, no. Okay, so yeah, definitely going into our restoration skill. He's right there, Neloth. Oh, he took great care of him. Something tells me that that Dwarven Centurion is definitely not going to be friendly. Okay. Do we go up here? Yes. Oh yeah, I wasn't wrong. Neloth, please help. Quick save. Just hit him with the... Okay, now I'm on this side and you're on that side. Let's see what we can do. Neloth, go to town, man. Oh, we do no damage to him. Neloth does, though. But I don't really know if Neloth is built to just take shots to the head. And why are you using a dagger? If you're a master wizard, cast more spells, man. You just say, ow. How did you see that final kill? Or final shot. I win. Neloth? He barely did anything. Come on, old man. No, oh, come on. What is going on? There we go. Oh, to everybody who's been telling me to hotkey things, which has only really been a couple people, and I'm not, like, being rude or anything, just I am playing with a controller, so... I don't really have hotkeys. I could favorite them. Or favorite certain things, but people are like hotkey or potions and stuff, but I could favorite them, but then it would just clutter my favorites, and then at that point you might as well just go through your actual inventory. And that necklace was actually very expensive. So I will take it. But yeah, like I said, I mean I already have, you know, that many things in there. If I added a bunch of different kinds of potions, it would only make it worse. And I guess I could just... Because on controller you can hotkey two things. So I guess I could hotkey two potions. But I just don't think it's really worth it. Oh my god, he is crazy. Unfortunately, each cube we retrieve shuts down the corresponding pumps, raising the water level. We'll have to be careful. Yes, sir, Neloth, sir. So, we have retrieved the cube from this section. So, we have, like, I think three now. Ooh, it floated all my arrows up. Thank you. Where's this water coming from? No, oh, it's just coming out of that pipe in the ceiling. How nice. What's in here? Let's see where this leads. That was my idea. Oh, we actually need to raise the water level to go there. Hell, okay, we're only in 20 minutes. Probably going to make this a 30 minute video just because I'm going to have longer amount of time to upload it. Because I'm going to upload this the day before because I'm streaming this on like a Thursday night. And it's getting uploaded on a Friday and it's going to be public on a Saturday. Yeah, I totally didn't. Oh, Dwarven Ballistae. 
Those things, very powerful. And I believe they were added with the Dragonborn DLC. Okay, we already have... I am not pulling that until this guy's dead because that Centurion is going to attack us. So basically the Ballista, ignore your armor. And stagger you like crazy. Okay, and I'm going to need a healing potion. The best you can really do is just try to dodge them. I don't even think blocking works. That was a cool action shot. I'm going to see if I can get that for the thumbnail. If not, it's going to be Neloth's face. Yep, there he is. Okay. We are submerged, but he does not care. Um, Neloth, please, wherever you are, unsubmerge yourself. Please, please, please. Um, bam. Oh, come on, seriously. You're, you're really going to do that? Seems we are at an impasse. And where is no... Really, dude? You just gonna sit down here and float? That was my plan all along. Don't act like it's all yours. Man, we are getting some serious finishers. By my count, we've found a total of four cubes. Assuming you have dropped them. I'm dropping them everywhere, Neloth. I kind of have to to get here. But yes, four cubes in total so far. I guess I need to go back through here and grab my last one. Wait, is it in here still? No, it can't be. At least I don't think so. Is it over here? No, it's not. Okay. Maybe we won't have to um make those two videos. I feel like we still probably should. Who knows? Well, you'll know. Okay, so we have four cubes. That is all we need to drop all the water level, correct? Because we're just trying to, yeah, restore steam supply. So we need, what, two more cubes? That is a very interesting statement. I didn't know Malakath had super hairy knuckles. Well, I guess it makes sense. Isn't Malakath like the patron prince of the orcs? Okay, so this is the next step. You know what, we're at 26 minutes now, so I bet what we'll do is kill these two Dwarven Ballista. And in the next video, we will head through that door. Oh my god, seriously. You know what, you're getting berserked. Do you want to save a couple potions for the next video? You know, Neloth, you could be way more useful than you are being right now. Okay. Well, thank you everybody who's watching this still. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comments are also appreciated. Like I said earlier, Twitch and Twitter are both linked in the description below. And like always, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.